Kalos Tirthate, which means hello and welcome in Greek to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to do a little taste test slash challenge. I have never had the Dalgona coffee, which is the whipped coffee that went viral on TikTok. It comes from South Korea and this is luxurious coffee that's whipped up and almost looks like buttercream pretty much. And then it's just dolloped over milk. And then the only whipped coffee that I've ever had, I'm going to compare it to Frappe, which is the Greek iced coffee that I've had my whole life. Now um, we're going to do both. I've never made the Dalgona coffee. I have made Frappe many times. And basically I've read, I've read up on it and every, every recipe is the same. It's equal amounts of instant coffee. You want to make sure you're using instant coffee because that's the only one that will work with some gra inst uh, equal amount. Wait a minute. Instant not instant, equal amounts of instant coffee, granulated sugar, and water. So I'm going to combine two tablespoons of instant coffee, two tablespoons of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of cold water, and a little splash of vanilla extract, which is optional. Now as far as the sugar goes, you can use any sugar that you want. Granulated sugar is my go-to, but you can do uh, sugar substitutes if you want, and you can flavor it with, with whatever you want. You could do vanilla, almond, whatever suits your fancy, or you can just leave it plain. And then you're gonna whip it together with a hand mixer and, a, uh, and the whisk attachment until it becomes a beautiful caramel, caramel type color, and it's gonna be really nice and thick. With the whisk, it takes about a minute. If you're gonna do it by hand, it's probably gonna take about five, six minutes or maybe more but it will work. It's just much faster if you have a hand blender. Now I have a glass of ice. Now you can uh, pour this over hot milk or cold milk. I'm gonna do uh, cold milk today because it's like 100 degrees outside. Now I'm using regular milk, but you could use milk substitute if you want. And then I'm just gonna top, top it with this beautiful whipped, pillowy, smooth, and shiny coffee. And you can mix it or leave it as is. And let's see if the hype is true. So what I'm noticing over here is that the Dalgona coffee, mm, that froth has a lot of flavor, but it's really not mixing into the milk. Let's see if we can take a taste. I think maybe it'll mix in more if you're using like hot milk. I'm not that impressed, you guys. Still not seeing what all the hype is over. I felt like it was a lot of work whipping this whole thing together with not a lot of coffee flavor. It tastes more like milk. It's more like milk flavored with coffee than it is an actual coffee. And if you're into that, then you're going to like this. But I don't know. Let me take another taste. Let me get it from the top. It's good. I can't say that I love it and that I'll, you know, I can't wait to have another one. But it's all right. I mean, it's good. <laughs> Frappe is like the national summertime drink of Greece. It's, de it's definitely something that everybody drinks at cafes or even at home around the afternoon. The best place to drink it is by the beach. It's so easy to make. Again, it starts off with some instant coffee. Now you are gonna wanna use instant coffee, otherwise the other coffee will not work. So you can make it as strong or as light as you want. You can do one to two teaspoons. I'm gonna do one heaping teaspoon and one flat one. And then you can sweeten it any which way you want. So the, met, the glico frappes gets about four teaspoons of sugar. We're not doing that today. I don't need that much sugar. Metrios gets two t about two teaspoons. And then some people take it plain, which you say it in Greek, sketos. And um, I'm in between the plain and the metrios, the sketos and the metrios. I'm going to do one teaspoon of sugar and a little bit of water. It's just a couple tablespoons. Now you can do this with a hand mixer. You can put it in a mason jar and just shake it up all together. In Greece, they have special containers, especially for frappe, for shaking it all up. I'm going to use this little uh, frother over here. So it all depends on the strength of your little of the tool that you're using. If you have a milkshake making machine, that is going to whip this up perfectly, and you're actually going to get more froth. This is good for now. I'm going to get some ice. So I'm going to add some ice to this. And I'm going to pour some more water. And I'm going to finish it off with some milk, because I like my metrio megala. And there you have it, frappe. 
Now, as you'll see that the froth is not as thick and as shiny and as, uh, how do you say it? It doesn't have as much body as the one from the Dalgona coffee does, but that might have to do with the strength of this little frothing tool that I used. If you have a hand, if you have a hand blender, that will make it even better. Sometimes shaking it by hand with a mason jar or an airtight co container will get a really good froth going too. Now it's time to taste the frappe. I know what frappe tastes like, so. I guess that's why I'm kind of let down because I was expecting it to taste more like of a more creamy frappe. Let's try this. Hmm, see this? This is what I'm used to. This is what I love. This tastes like coffee. I'm also not a huge milk drink drinker. Like I don't pour myself a big glass of milk and drink it. So that's probably why I'm not a huge fan of the Dalgona. I love the frappe. I always put milk in my frappe and there's just the right amount. You can really taste the coffee. You take a sip of that and it really wakes you up. It's really nice and light. All of the flavor is not in the froth. It's in the whole drink. So for me, even though the Dalgona looks really beautiful and fancy and shiny and it looks like there's a pillow of mousse on top of that coffee, I'm, I'm more traditional. I like the frappe. If you like coffee, this is what you're going to like. And don't get me wrong. Don't think that this is like I'm partial to it because I'm Greek. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Maybe because that's what I grew up drinking. I really like it. Give them both a try. Let me know which one you guys like in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think. And also let me know what else you want to learn how to make next. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.